Hi guys, welcome to Transits and Tactics. We are in the identity center to G center, the home of what they call in human design, the magnetic monopole, where everything is sort of spinning around and this is the higher self center. And it's so interesting, both gates, uh, the solar transit right now is in gate 46, the gate of determ determination of the self, very interesting energy. And then being grounded by the earth in gate uh, 25, which is the gate of the spirit of self. So a lot of things about your experience in this transit. So let's let's um, start talking about this gate 46. It's interesting because 46 energy um, is, is about experiencing this life in the body. So it's, it has to do with the body and senses, through your body and through your senses. And being present as opposed to being too attached to the goals, too attached to uh, the drama in life and, and actually you know, um, thinking that that things just happen by luck, for example, although you might see a lot of interesting um, things like a lot of serendipities in the air with this energy. However, it really is all the consequences of all the actions that we've taken. I really truly believe that there's no such thing as just luck. You know, people uh, sometimes mention something, you know, amazing happens, like I got remarried this year and, and people are like, oh, you're so lucky you met a man of your dreams again so fast. It, there is no luck there is a consequence of actions that we take and so then we are becoming available to something and we draw some events and people into our lives and the quality of those people and events i think reflect where we are where we are right now and sometimes when it feels like oh but why this is happening to me it really is about the lesson you need to learn i really really believe that having gone through so much in the last few years um and just as a witness you know so i am really enjoying uh, this energy this energy is about not in my in my uh what I sense, it's really about not to get too serious. And actually with the gene keys, um, gene key 46, the shadow state is seriousness. When you are too serious, when you are attached to something and you're not actually experiencing um, life through your body, through your senses in the now enough to just get to that state of delight, which is the gift, right? And um, the lowest uh, expression of this gate, and some of you could really resonate with this this week, so watch yourself, is feeling disconnected and like feeling feeling that you don't belong. And when you, when you catch yourself, you know, uh, think about it. Have you been ignoring your physical needs? Because all these negative thinking, and actually even if you just learn about how the brain works, right? The negative thinking and negative thoughts and feelings are very often connected to your limbic system being undernourished or, you know, you just, you, you, maybe you haven't been looking after yourself. And I think this week is, this is why this energy is very about the body, about your needs, about your physical needs that lead then to either health problems if you're neglecting yourself or feeling better and then feeling the joy it is about the joy and when you tap into that joy of the present moment that's when the you can sense that serendipity and amazing events can come in into your life or people or opportunities so i think it's a really exciting time and then we have this gate 25 and gate 25 again it's the gate of uh, the spirit of self and the gene key 25 in its shadow it has this uh, shadow of constriction so if you're too attached too serious you know you're too bogged down with this you know either your your physical not being unwell physically or or just feeling that you don't belong you will feel this constriction however this energy is about trust and it's about the trust that everything will be okay. And I think that this is so beautiful how harmoniously we have this energy of experience life in present. Look after yourself, you, you look after your needs. Don't be too serious. Don't get, you know, dragged into the drama. Don't be attached to the outcome somewhere that, you know, in the past or in the future, um, all those events. Live in the now and trust that everything will be okay. How wonderful. 
So we get to embrace whatever we're going through in life. And there's so many things I'm sure Anita is going to talk about this. All these things were in the eclipse season. There's a lot of things happening. There's there've been a few quite challenging transits. So not everyone is in a perfect, happy place right now. So this is the energy that comes in and says, okay, let's go, let go of all this, you know, overthinking expectations, whatever you're going through, try and let go of it and just look after your needs and see what happens when you try and find joy in the now, in this moment. So, so much, so much amazing energy. Um, Anita, how are you experiencing this? Yeah, that's a very good point. I love this energy because it is, it's like an inner knowing energy of I'm in the right place at the right time when I'm balanced. It's mm. where people, it's when we're disconnected that it can be really, it can be brutal when we're disconnected because we don't know what to commit to. We're struggling to know what we want to do and we're struggling to know what we love even. So yes. and it's connected to the gate 29 of the sacral. So do you want to say something there before, before I go on? No, not at all. Yeah, I did the 29, it's a harmonious gate. So if you do have the 29 in your design, you will be experiencing the channel of discovery, which yeah. is all about embracing the experience. So yes, I was... Exactly. This is, yeah. But you know, the um, Neptune is um, the gate, uh, the gate 25 is conjunct Neptune in Pisces at the moment as well. There's very much an energy from all the transits that is saying... Listen, you need to stay connected in your body to know what you love. You need to stay connected in your body to recognize your dream as opposed to an, a, somebody else's idea that you like. And it's time now to bring our dreams into reality. Uh, because the body is what takes the action. We can run around in our head all we like. We can have absolute great fun with our mental gymnastics. But nothing happens until we get our body engaged. And so if you can't get your body to commit, now you can be, you know, you, you won't, you, you, you'll find it hard to get anything done, right? You, you might be in, now there's two ways this can work. You don't do anything at all, so you're in a freeze. Or you're so attached to the way that you're doing things that you get locked in and then you're surprised when you run into that wall because you haven't been consistently checking in with your inner yes. It's all back to that inner decision strategy. So with this energy, my husband has it. And honestly, once he decides what he wants to do, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So if you don't have this energy in your chart, borrow it. If you if you do have it, utilize it correctly by staying connected with your inner yes. But when he gets clear about what he wants to do, literally the universe just rearranges to sort him. You're saying that he has the 2946 channel of discovery yes. because that's yes. what it is. It's you say yes to things you're aligned with and oh my God, the power is with you. Absolutely. Manifesting happens really quickly. And as you know, we're moving into a time where those big earth planets that are activated, activating earth signs at the moment are moving into air and water. It's going to get faster. It's going to get speedier. So if I'm worried and wondering what to commit to, I'm going to very quickly manifest loads of things to worry and not be committed to. Whereas if I can get focused on my yes and trust myself to follow that path, um, honestly, I've seen him manifest a job within a few days. We've manifested a houses and selling houses within minutes. It's like between the two of us, I give the guidance, he takes the action, and between us, like we're golden. It's amazing to see. Beautiful. You know, at the same time, you know, reality is, you know, there was one point there, and I don't know that I say this in the last video, but there was one point there where we were backs against the wall, no job, no money, no support. And we had no choice but to stay really focused. I did. I think I said it in the last one to stay focused on what we wanted. We knew all the other options and possibilities. We didn't choose them and we didn't commit to them. And that's the difference, knowing what to commit to. And when you don't know, commit to that inner yes and commit to that in bringing more joy and vitality into your body because it really does talk it but it just doesn't use english that's all 
<laughs> it really that, does. That's amazing. Guys, just to quali uh, just to really clarify this, if you have the 29, um, the gate of perseverance in your body, that's a um, harmonious gate. That's when you're going to have the energy right now and experience that fully, what, what uh, Anita has described. And, and it's absolutely fantastic. So go check with your chart after you finished uh, watching this, because it's, it's amazing that we get a chance to tap, even if we don't have the full channel or, you know, whatever is happening there, with um i am really loving both of these energies i don't have any of these i don't have either of these activations in my you know birth chart um gate 46 the, the body and then the 20 25 which is the earth right grounding earth where you're just trusting the universal flow but i'm so i so get this because every time when i let go of being too attached to what i want it comes you're saying yes but you're trusting you know, and I know that during the pandemic, that was a very good example. Uh, we were selling the house and then pandemic hit. And of course, everything like the office is closed. There was, you know, there was like our solicitor's office was closed for months. And we were just at, at a standstill. We didn't know what's happening. I mean, we're in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And I remember being very um, grounded with that energy and it's kind of in a way with about this letting go yes this was almost the dream was just coming true and bye -bye, and like the, the whole world had to stop i felt like the whole world stopped will i get that dream will will is it gonna happen and then i i distinctly remember letting go of, of and being attached to this and i was saying to my late husband les let's just go every day we'll go to the har local harbor we'll have a cup of coffee sit there on the you know look out social distance ourselves from everyone and we'll just trust because in the right time things will happen and i couldn't believe that then by by may june um uh, people started coming back into work and our processes just went bam 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 estonia that had its borders its borders closed for several months completely to everyone opened up and when we came here you know midsummer there was no even masks but there was like complete you know a moment where there was no COVID. um it felt like there was no COVID. of course it came back there with the second wave but it was so amazing and this is what i want for you if you have this Thing, this desire, something you're so attached, the process you're so attached, stepping back and just allowing, trusting everything is okay. Let go of being attached to those limitations, accept them because you can find joy in the now, whatever it is. For me, it was just having a cup of coffee and looking at that beautiful harbor in that moment because there's not much else I could do. So there's a few advice, few few bits I, I would like to kind of put out there in terms of marketing and uh, and generally in your business because this energy when when we're dealing with the body, the energy of your wellness, the energy of you feeling joy, just everyday joy, not some sort of lightning bolt thing. It's so important because when you're unwell, you can't create. When you're unwell, you can't create content. You know, when I'm unwell, I don't want to go do videos. I don't want to go write articles. I don't want to do any of that stuff because I have no energy because my personal physical needs are not fulfilled right and it's really really difficult and of course then you can feel disconnected and you can think what's wrong with me well i don't want to do this i'm not you know I, I i'm not for this i'm not that kind of person to do videos or to write or you know to to show up in my business but that's not right it's just that you need to look after yourself a little bit get that body nurtured first because the creativity and, and the inspiration and the joy comes as a result of, of the nourishment. So look after yourself this week, even if you have to, to take a break from creating in your business. I'm going to say that to you as a strategist, that you're not going to miss out. But if you feel like this, the first thing I would say, go and think, are you eating well? You know, do you, like maybe you need to go and, and do a checkup on your health to make sure maybe something, maybe you need a course of vitamins. We're starting the autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. So what is happening? Ground yourself. Then other things as well. You can just ground yourself um, and, and try and see, okay, I can accept the limitation. The limitation could be I have no creativity. I'm not feeling well. You know, I'm feeling overly serious. I'm feeling melancholic. Watch out for all those feelings. This is the shadow working right let's let's elevate ourselves to the higher frequency so finding just simple joys and it's quite easy to do gratitude journaling 
gratitude journaling is where to start when you're feeling like this small tiny things uh, whatever brings you these everyday joys, that is what this energy is about. That's what's going to start energizing you into the next step. It doesn't need to be. I think that the, our biggest problem is that we're looking for some sort of extreme form of joy, creativity. There's always this kind of like, you know, something needs to change, but we're expecting a complete like magic wand and everything became okay. But the, the change most of the time is gradual we don't even notice and sometimes we don't notice the change so we sabotage the the good that's coming with this change right but noticing these small little things is really really good and then when you feel that little joy share create content out of those small bits of joy in your life right so because you can find the way to light your fire and again you don't have to be on fire as in completely ecstatic but you can find yourself to bring into this delight of the now and experiencing like a child experiencing life with curiosity and delight and happiness this is what we're called for this week this is what we're reminded of this week mm -hmm. yeah and if i if i would mind adding don't be surprised if you do feel tired because of the eclipses so that's where the self-care is really key as well and don't don't make it wrong. Don't make it, you know, don't use it as a stick to beat yourself with, we say here in Ireland. Um, but in the business world as well, the energies are there. there you have the energies that are helping you release. So and there's the energies that are helping you manifest. This is one of the ones. And why we call out the sun energy in these transits is because all the energies are filtered through that one gate. So it's very strong in this moment. And and then so the energy so that I just wanted to say that as an aside, but the energies are saying release your expectations, explore where you might be limiting yourself unnecessarily um, and, you know, start wondering about how to mirror this inner joy, this inner vitality with how you do work, you know, make sure that you're contributing um, dispassionately, you know, you're you're doing it because you love it. And it's not connected to what people think. And I know marketing, yes, it is. No, you know, there's a balance there where you're doing what you do best. And that's what makes people attracted to you. That's, <laughs> that's true. It's it's not know. about what they need to hear per se. Yeah. Of course, you need to yeah. know generally who you're talking to. So you say relevant things to them, but it's not about what they expect to hear from you. And they don't base their decisions on what they expect to hear from you. It's what you have to say. And that yeah. is exactly channeling these you know the joy channeling channeling you and your essence through your work and that's what makes you so attractive that's the secret to you know the visibility that is so attractive exactly and there's two portals this time we have the eclipse which started this week and it goes for two weeks and we have the equinox in the middle of that so it's not usual for the equinox to be in the middle of an eclipse so it's like a a double cleanse it's like a deep clean right of our work one is clearing all that needs to go in relation to where we're creating crisis where we don't need to the other is saying right now here's the energy of balance you're going to get a lot of downloads you're going to get a lot of insights and i would say allow them to land rather than question or edit them straight away allow them to unfold for yourself for the next few few weeks what I find is as a 5-1, my guidance is so flippant practical that, you know, it's not wow enough, as Juliet said. It's not wow enough, so I kind of discount it. Oh, that's just from my head. But actually, it isn't. As a 5-1, I will come up with naturally practical solutions to, to solve all problems. So, you know, it's, it's just fun to see. So don't negate the guidance because it's simple and easy. Um, actually consider taking action on the simple and easy and see what happens. You'll be very surprised or let us know how that works for you. Exactly. I love that. And and you know what as well, I, I want to stress this as well, guys, because this is what, what Anita just said. Th this is what most people do. They say, ah, this is too simple. 
But imagine if we came here, for example, let's take this um, this series as an example. So we would, and there's a lot of that happening. We could come here and talk to you about the planets and, and the cosmos and everything in such abstract terms that you would listen to us trying to understand. And then the, the 20 minutes passed and you're, you're like, what just happened? I don't know. What do I do with this? And that's my problem with most of the kind of spiritual world, actually talking about seriousness and this shadow gate, shadow side of gate 46 of key, Gene Key 46 is, is seriousness. And a lot of spirituality is just way too serious. They're way too attached to their little concepts, even in human design. But the truth is that, that we're here, this is about your own empowerment. This is not about the concept itself. That's only a tool, right? So the practical, the down to earth, here's what you can do. Here's how you can elevate yourself. You're feeling disconnected, go and do some journaling. Simple, practical, do it now advice. This is what we want for you guys. So hope that you enjoy. Let us know, let us know your feedback. We're always so open to, to know how these transit videos help you. If you have anything to add, or if you have any questions, there's comments below. Please, please do let us know. We would love to have a chat with you. So we will see you then in the next transit. And uh, guys, take care for now. Look after yourself. This is the transit for it. Oh, 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 oh,